Beginning with former NFL defensive back Jerome Sapp and Rod Babers in the late 90s, through current Texas defensive backs Holton Hill and John Bonney and countless others in between, Lamar's lineage of secondary standouts has earned the program the nickname DB High. This year, the Texas defensive backfield might just be the best of the bunch, led by two of the top recruits in the nation, cornerback Anthony Cook and safety Deshaun Jamison. Cook, he's he's amazing, you know. Back back uh, back in 2014, freshman year, you know, me and him had a talk saying that, you know, we're gonna be starters on varsity, we're gonna do great, we're gonna get some offers. We kind of work together, train together, and we just got better and better each, each and every day. I feel like I'm obligated to do that since the guys before me, um, they taught me the ways and stuff like that, how to work hard and how to go get what you want. So I feel like I'm obligated to keep the tradition going. The standard is how once you come in, so that's why we're considered DB high. They have the role models to look to, and, and plus they can see the success they've had and you know what it's got for them. And, you know, it's not a bad route to go. In his 33 years as head coach, Tom Nolan says it's now much easier to convince young players to play defensive back than the more glamorous offensive skill positions, due in large part to Lamar's DB high reputation. Sapp was, he was, he was totally convinced he was a running back. It, it was all I could do to get him to play safety, but we had a senior running back and another sophomore running back, and he was cut and dry. Now, once he played it for a year, it was, then it was the same. Bonnie and Hill, the two of Texas, they were the same way coming out of middle school. Oh no, I'm a running back, I'm a running back. Well, why don't you just try this for a year? We don't need you at running back, then we'll move you back. And then once you get a move and they have some success, then it's, it's easy. Honestly, when I came in, I didn't know how big it was. Then as I went through the school year at Lamar, I saw that how big these guys were, how, how many colleges wanted these guys, and that kind of motivated me to uh, go out there and achieve what they did. It's great to see that, you know, they're on, they on a path to, to success. And that's also a, a great influence to me because watching them just getting their stuff together, going to school, getting good grades, and, and playing college football, that's a great influence. Not only do they help bring out the best in each other, but the Lamar DBs make the Texas offense better every day in practice. Uh, facing the DBs we have at Lamar is it's like top notch because you know you're going to get the best of them every day and then we get the best of me every day. So me versus the DBs, we're all competitors. We hate to lose, so I know I'm going to get the best out of them and they know they're going to get the best out of me. Put it all together and the Texans have high hopes this season. We can win a state title. Um, offense, if uh, they execute and defense executes and everybody does their job, we uh, are more than capable of winning a state title. We have the team to go all the way to state and I'm not just saying that, we actually have all the pieces to uh, win it all.